in terms of the nature of the counterparty risk, I mean, uh, the, um, the new entry is by far the risk against financial institutions. This was the main topic discussed during the today Treasury Council here in Amsterdam. And uh, there was, a, let's say, a quite deep drilling in this kind of topic. But uh, even more, more interesting, interestingly, I mean, uh, we heard somebody also mentioning the supplier side, which is a new entry. And uh, I mean, uh, uh, there is a recognition that the treasury function is also, has also to take care of this kind of risk. And uh, uh, I mean, we see the supply chain finance product offered by the banks uh, as a treasury led product and solution to this kind of counterparty risk, uh, which was traditionally instead uh, uh, normally managed by the procurement uh, uh, department. Uh, regarding client, uh, client risk, uh, credit risk, uh, um, let's say there is even better awareness uh, of the importance of this, uh, especially given the fact that uh, to manage client risk, credit risk on the client uh, means also to help the sales department. So we have seen a sort of uh, commingling of the treasury department into the full value chain of the client. Today, during the Treasury Council here in Amsterdam, uh, there was a, a clear hint that counterparty risk is really one of the biggest challenges for the Treasurer. And in particular, there was a long debate, let's say, regarding how to measure, how to monitor this counterparty risk. Um, a number of methods were used and were explained in this presentation. Um, from the rating agency up to the KMB model uh, to other systematic, uh, more quantitative and uh, market-based uh, systems. Um, however, I mean, it, it was clear from the um, feedback given by the Treasurer that uh, um, there is no, let's say, one single approach, uh, and therefore the various uh, element has to be used together and especially, I mean, different elements, different monitoring, different systems should be used for different counterparty risk, i.e., if you're talking about client, client risk, credit, credit risk, then evidently, I mean, uh, there are different ways to measure, like uh, what kind of credit wardens they have with their own local banks. If there's a FI risk, then it is relatively quicker and easier because then you have a rating agency, you have a markets indicator and so on. Looking ahead in, in 2012, I mean, uh, all the elements are there. I mean, uh, there is a, a self-consciousness of the importance of to monitor counterparty risk. The biggest challenge will be to think the unthinkable. I mean, this is really the biggest challenge going forward. Uh, we were used to a certain market paradigm. 2008 uh, put in jeopardy this market paradigm, the way we were thinking about counterparty risk. Now we are uh, elaborating this new paradigm, and uh, I would say 2012 will be the key year where the clients and the treasurer thinking ahead what could unthinkable can happen will be well prepared to cope with the new environment. I mean, uh, what was discussed uh, as a pain point during the Treasury Council here in Amsterdam was a bit surprise for me because, uh, I mean, the outcome was uh, more on the how to have a proper centralization process, how to monitor, uh, uh, let's say, what the subsidiaries or decentralized location are doing and not to have a last minute surprise. There was uh, even uh, um, some comments regarding SEPA. But uh, I, I, it was quite surprisingly because uh, I was thinking that uh, Southern Europe uh, counterparty risk would be the main topic, but it didn't come. So I think this is uh, at least uh, an optimistic view of 2012. We are going back to the old traditional uh, pain points. <laughs>